Hello YouTube, I have before me the B-Next VR headset, virtual reality in the house. Here we are. And uh, I'm happy to report that this is a great starter virtual reality headset, especially for the price. I think I picked mine up for about $30. Uh, and basically what it is, is it's just this apparatus that has goggles and uh, you slide your phone into it and anything that you can see on your phone, you just see it in like you're become in the phone, essentially. It's virtual reality. So let me kind of walk you through uh, the design and then I can kind of give you my thoughts at the end uh, as well so first of all it's it's very sturdy and securely made um, there is a comfortable mesh padding that goes around the perimeter so you can wear it for a long period of time and it will not hurt your face I'm happy to also say that this headset is very snug and secure since it's not just like one and two but there's also the top one so it, it kind of cradles your head um, obviously these can be moved to make it a more snug or more loose fit, depending on how big your head is. This is the size for me and it feels awesome. Now here on the front, we have this little door that opens up, which, um, I guess I'm not really sure why they made this. I guess if you're, if you want to see and not take off the headset and your phone is not in the cradle, you can actually see out of it, but I always just have this shut anyway. Um, along the side, here is the little cartridge area for the phone to go. So as you can see, it just literally slides into the headset. This is literally just like a piece of plastic. So you're gonna stick your phone into this cradle. Now, over here, you can see that there's a spring-loaded uh, kind of gate. So depending on how big your phone is, if you have a smaller, say like an iPhone 5 that is very sl slim and narrow, or if you have a, a bigger phone, like this is the, uh, the iPhone 10 that I have, or I know some of the Samsung phones, the Galaxies go bigger, you know, you can have uh, your phone be snug inside this cradle thanks to the spring. Uh, mechanism right here. So once your phone is locked inside there, you slide it back into the headset and um, there you go. Now, um, two last things in terms of the design. Over here you have uh, this movement which actually moves the goggle to the right or to the left. So depending on how your eyes are positioned, um, based on the size of your head, you can get it just right for you. And also, I just recently learned this actually, I didn't realize that this can move forward to bring the glass closer to your eye. And that makes all the difference. It makes you really feel like you're in the virtual environment like that. Really cool. Um, so let me just <laughs> Let me just say that my curiosity about virtual reality started a couple months ago. I took a vacation to Dewey Beach, Delaware, and they have a boardwalk. And, you know, back when I was growing up as a kid, uh, the boardwalk arcades were these huge machines um, with the joystick and the buttons that you smash. And nowadays, the, the, <laughs> the boardwalk arcade is literally a bunch of empty rooms with headsets. Now, not these headsets specifically, but they had, I was talking to the owner and he had six different setups and each headset cost about $6,000. And there was an apparatus or you held two kind of like wands that helped you navigate the, uh, you know, the game or the virtual reality uh, application, whatever you were inside effectively. And uh, he told me, you know, you can play over 150 games that I have loaded up here right now. And the very first one and only one that I cared out about, about actually at the time was the Google Earth application. And um, I've never been to Rio de Janeiro before, but I've always wanted to go. 
And I put on the headset and uh, and I flew to Rio de Janeiro and I was walking around the city. It's just like Google Earth on your computer, uh, except you're kind of like in the experience thanks to the headset. It really, really blew me away. I, I feel like the future of... Uh, I'm, I'm surprised actually that it's taken this long for virtual reality to catch on to the mainstream public. I mean, this has been around for a couple of years now and people, it, it still is like uh, something that definitely a lot of people have still not experienced it. So, but I definitely feel like it's the future and I, I feel like people might not even have a need to travel because they can experience so much of it just through the headset. Now, you know, right now we're in its infancy, um, you know, and it's, in other words, it's only going to get better. It's only going to get more realistic. And um, I really enjoyed <laughs> my boardwalk experience with virtual reality. So when I learned that they have these uh, headsets now that you can, you know, get for home use, and that this particular one only costs 30 bucks, that's pretty freaking awesome how they allow you to use your phone. Um, so it's not like you're buying a whole app, extra like a, like a, a game console. Uh, it's literally, this is just the plastic part and you stick your phone inside, which opens you up to so many different possibilities. I mean, there's so many games and a ton of things that you can do with this virtual reality headset. So if you're new to VR, I highly recommend that you check it out. I believe it's the future. Um, this is a great way to get started. It's very inexpensive. It feels great. It does the job. And it just will kind of expand your mind to what the future might be like uh, in terms of how we use technology yet again to enhance our lives. So uh, welcome to the channel. If you're new, uh, I review lots of different stuff that I always have firsthand experience with. So um, that, that, and I have a lot of different interests. I love to talk about healthy stuff. I review vitamins. Uh, there's a lot of different tech things that I talk about. Um, just basically whatever I get my hands on that I have personal experience, I want to talk about it and share with the world. So this is my two cents on virtual reality, the B next VR headset. And uh, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Would love to have you uh, as a subscriber and hope to see you soon.